Hey, this is Michael Medium Rare O'Donnell with Cave Tools, and in this quick video tutorial, we're going to teach you how to make wiener schnitzel with the Cave Tools Meat Tenderizer Mallet. First thing we're going to do, we're going to start with two different bowls. In the first bowl, we're going to add uh, one cup of dried breadcrumbs. Next, we're going to mix in one tablespoon, teaspoon, I'm sorry, of minced parsley half a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese, and one pinch, uh, just a quick pinch of nutmeg. Then we're going to take our whisk and we're going to mix it all up so we get a nice general consistency in the bowl. In the second bowl, we're going to mix in a couple of... Uh, couple of eggs. I think this recipe called for two eggs, but we decided to use three just because we were making uh, quite a lot more than normal. Uh, so really choose as you want. You can also mix in a couple tablespoons of milk. Now, we're shooting the video. We accidentally mixed in our half cup of flour with the egg and milk mixture. Normally, you want to add that in with the rest of the breading ingredients. Everything still came out fine, but make sure that you don't mess up like we did. Uh, I think it was just because we were on video and weren't paying attention. Uh, it's just a little bit harder to bread the meat when you put the flour in with the egg and milk. So when you do it, make sure to add it into the other bowl on the right side there. Next, you need to take your veal cutlets or whatever meat you're using and you need to tenderize it. Uh, for the sake of this video, we actually pre-tenderized our veal with the Cave Tools meat mallet. Uh, so when you're, you've got your meat, you want to dip each one first into the breading bowl. Then you're going to dip it into the egg and milk mixture. Make sure to get the mixture all over the piece of meat. And then you're going to go back and dip it one more time into the breading mixture. And you're going to do this for each of the veal cutlets until they're all breaded and ready to go. Now it's time to cook. Uh, so we melted down six tablespoons of butter into a skillet. I know that seems like a lot of butter, but trust me, it's going to make the food taste delicious. So you melt down your butter, and then you're going to toss some of the cutlets into your skillet. Remember, they're already very thin and tenderized, so the cooking time is going to be much shorter than a usual piece of meat. We did about three minutes maximum per side. And as you can see here, our Wiener Schnitzel came out fantastic. This is going to be a delicious and quick meal that you can you know, easily make for your family and friends. But you need to have a good meat tenderizer to do it. So make sure to check out buymeathammer.com right now because for a limited time, we're actually giving away some deep discount coupons on the meat mallet. Uh, you know, it's dishwasher safe, 100% stainless steel. It's an excellent, excellent model. Hey, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in getting even more barbecue and grilling recipes and tip and tutorial type of videos, then you're in luck because we've put all of our videos together for you over at cavetoolsvideos.com where you can access everything we've put together absolutely for free. So just go to cavetoolsvideos.com and you can get all the videos today.